Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for March 31st, 2022, the last trading day of our first quarter. Yesterday, we had a little bit of a muted response in the market, a little pullback, eased a little bit of the, um, the overextended pressure in the market mostly due to some uncertainty about Russian promises and that inversion of bond yields that um, starting to worry some of the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we just settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, let's notice that we have broken that downtrend here in the chart, so we have to give this up to the bulls. We've been holding in this upside trend now, albeit a very, very steep upside trend um, with quite an extension here um, in the market but we have some price support here in the chart if those bears were to get inspired we have some price support in there and to um, hold us and if those bulls can find reason to be inspired today which you know um, in the quarter window dressing certainly is still in play um, heading into the um, to the end of the well the last trading day of this quarter so let's watch those resistance levels right in there if the bulls happen to get inspired on the day watch that closely now the usual markets had a little bit of trouble last night their manufacturing um, activity declined disappointed there even though those oil prices were pulling back pretty sharply um, there is a um, expectation that President Biden will open the strategic reserve for the third time this year in an attempt to reduce pressure on gas prices here today. I'm not sure that's the wisest of decisions, but that's what is expected for today, um, even as we move toward um, an OPEC production decision today as well. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart, and we've really had major improvement in the technicals here um, with the prices getting back above the 50 and the 200 day moving average notice that those shorter term averages are starting to turn up but what we also want to notice is although they're turning up through that 50 day moving average we still have that potential that we could slip back down into here to test that level as support so don't rule out that possibility of a pullback here eventually but at the same time with that window dressing that's going on for the end of the quarter i wouldn't rule out that possibility of more upside today as well um, it's kind of 50 50. Um, we're in this consolidating move and it really all depends on how much inspiration we might find in some of these economic reports this morning. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's take a look at our SPY now. SPY, very much the same situation, great improvement, but I will say this is just way too parabolic in the upside move. Although we have, you know, that window dressing coming into play, we do have to consider just how steeply this has rallied and that possibility that a pullback could occur at any time. Um, let's take a look what we have for support and resistance in the chart. We have a significant level of price support right through here. We have a little tiny bit of price support right through here. So we'll want to watch those two areas carefully if those bears were to be inspired. Um, the pullback in here could be pretty painful if those uh, bears were to be inspired. For the upside, however, we have a significant level of price resistance above, and that may challenge the market here um, substantially unless we can find some really good bullish inspiration in the chart but once again those technicals have improved um, we'll just want to watch this overextension here for a period of time and perhaps we just move into a longer term consolidation to rest um, the market rather than in a full pullback let's take a look at our QQQ QQQ has been um, exceptionally strong and once again we have this really parabolic um, 
rally here in the upside. And if we look at, uh, for some support and resistance, we have a little bit of a stronger level of price support maybe right through here in the chart. There's not much here. You can notice here, depending on how you were to, to draw that, but we're kind of right there in that mix on that resistance level in the chart. So if the bulls get inspired, they're going to have to deal with that level in here. And then just keep in mind, there's a huge level of price resistance above that. So watch that closely. So we can kind of see those levels there in the chart. Um, I, I don't know that I would be overly worried about a major sell off today being the last day of the quarter, but um, we do want to watch for that concern because the pullback in here would be very painful. We've moved so many points so fast without creating a whole lot of price support in that move, the, the pullback could be rather painful if it does occur, so watch that. Um, and then if we take a look at our Russell, now IBM, um, IWM had um, kind of a disappointing day yesterday. Um, we had that big break to the upside, as you can see here in the Russell, breaking through that resistance and coming up here to test this really long area of price resistance in the chart. And at least at this point, it looks like price resistance has done its job rejecting that price and pushing us back. And as a matter of fact, we fell yesterday into that gap up um, that got everybody all excited um, just the day before. So watch that closely. We're starting to see a little bit of additional weakness showing up here in IWM. But that being said, we also have price support in here that could hold that chart right through this area. So little rest or pullback really doesn't hurt the technicals of this chart if it can hold that support uh, back in that area. So watch that carefully. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX had a little bit of an increase yesterday, but not so much to really um, raise any concern levels in the market. Notice we're still holding in here below that 20 handle area, which is a fairly significant price level in the chart. If the bulls can continue that and hold us below that 20 um, handle level in the chart, then we're in pretty good shape here, I would say. If, however, because of that short-term overextension, if those bears were to get a little bit feisty in here and push us back up, we might want to be watching this area right in here. There's some price resistance in this chart if we start to pick up on a little bit of fear if that selling does come here into the market. Can't say that it will, but let's watch that close. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now this, this is where the biggest concern that I have for the market is, and, and that is that we continue to remain pretty overextended here in our T2122. We pushed up here to uh, an unbelievable level. In fact, it's been a long time since I've seen this, have seen us come so close to absolute 100 um, in this indicator. We came very, very close to that. And we did get a little modest rest in um, that T2122 yesterday. However, if those bulls can get inspired, there still is. Now we've opened up a little tiny bit of upside opportunity if those bulls can be inspired to close out the quarter. And if those bears were to, um, you know, grab onto this for some reason today, then we just have to note that we still we still have a big downside move that could occur just because of that short-term overextension. So watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at our T2108, T2108, doggone it. Gotta learn how to type one of these days, guys. Um, T2108, um, rallied right straight up there into that uh, downtrend resistance in the chart. And we did reject it yesterday pulling back, but I gotta say it wasn't such a big rejection to really raise any major concern. As a matter of fact, there's quite a little price support right through there on the chart. So if we can hold up in this area here and get inspired back to the upside, well, we might see that push on through that downtrend here before too long. However, if those bears were to come back in and get a little bit feisty, then we could drop back through here, raising just a little bit more concern that we've maybe created another failure um, at this resistance line. So watch that. Our T2107, very much the same. Um, T2107 pulling back from that upside resistance area in that chart, as you can see, pulling back here just slightly. 
but I wouldn't call it a full-on rejection just yet because if we look right in here, there's a little bit of price support and we are clinging to that price support at the moment and we do have price support down in here. So if the bulls can continue this effort to the upside and we can pop through that downtrend, that would be pretty inspiring. Um, if it if it does fail here, we need to see some of these support levels start to give up in uh, that chart. And I think both, both of those are possible with the concerns that we have out there in the market. Our T2101 improving just a little bit on that T2101, getting a little bit better because our volume has come up in the last couple of days just a tiny little bit. But we want to watch this area right in here. We have fairly good price resistance in the chart. We've pushed back down. Down, um, into this overall downtrend. Let's see if we can hold in here. Um, usually if we're moving up in the market, we, we're going to stay winding out this um, wedge here in the chart. So watch that closely. But if those bears were to get inspired and we pop back up here, then that's where we have that concern of a bit more selling maybe coming into the market. Um, let's keep in mind, guys, that as we um, I jump over here to take a look at um, our economic calendar today we have a little bit of a problem going on in bond yields if you take a look out there our two-year bond yields um, this morning have pulled back two-year bond yields are trading at 2.27 percent but our problem remains with the five and ten year our five-year bonds pulled back yet a little bit this morning five-year pulled back to 2.39 percent but our 10-year bonds are at 2.32 percent so we still have that five and ten year inversion going on adding a little bit of concern um, to the market but we haven't had the inversion on the 210 yet the 210 being at 2.27 and the 10-year at 2.32 we have just a little tiny bit of space in there on that now I went back on the Federal Reserve uh, website and I can tell you I have never been able to find and it's in fact I don't think it's there when the 2 inverts over the 10 there has never been a time in history that that didn't create a recession sometime in six to 12 months. So we'll wanna watch carefully for that um, a possibility if that two and 10 year does invert. Um, however, just because it's never happened before doesn't mean it has to happen again. Um, we always have to remember there's always a first time for everything and perhaps maybe this is just a scare at the moment and it doesn't actually occur. But I do think it's worth meriting uh, a watch here in the market. Let's take a look at that economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has a couple things that we're going to want to be paying attention to here this morning before the bell we're going to get jobless claims now those jobs have been really really strong and i would expect that number to remain strong but the problem that we're starting to see is it's so strong that we have really giving given the fed um, no alternative but to start becoming very aggressive on inflation here in the market. And so if it comes in really, really strong, that could actually be a little bit of a problem here. Um, we could see the market get a little bit um, uncertain about uh, the possibility of that 50 basis point increase coming up next month. So watch that closely. And if we take a look um, right in here, we have personal incomes and outlays. And that's been problematic for us because our personal incomes have been falling well behind um, inflation and that's creating that pinch on the consumer. So we'll wanna watch that one closely this morning. We have Chicago PMI, the natural gas report, and a Fed balance sheet. None of those are likely to move the market tremendously today. And then as you plan forward, remember before the market opens tomorrow, we got a pretty big day tomorrow on the calendar. We've got that employment situation number along with PMI and ISM and construction spending numbers. So uh, we're going to enter into that uh, second quarter with a lot of data that potentially could move us around. And from our um, kind of extended uh, position here um, in the market, that might be just a little bit of concern going into that first quarter. So watch that careful. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now on the earnings side of things, we have a big day. We have over a hundred companies listed on the calendar, but unfortunately most of those are extreme small cap companies and um, 
a lot of them remain unconfirmed yet this morning. So let's take a look at a few of the notables. I pulled out a couple and, and I'm not going to go through them all because what I put down in the report today, there's even three and four dollar stocks down in there. Not exactly market moving stocks um, to be worried about, but a couple that you might want to keep an eye on. Uh, WBA um, reporting today. Looks like it popped up pretty early here this morning trying to get going on that report. Report, um, trying to break this downtrend as you can see here in the chart and hold it as support but a little bit of an uncertain uh, candle there in the pre-market so let's watch that one closely here for today and the only other one that I you know is somewhat notable for the day might be uh, Blackberry here um, watch that carefully um, as they move toward their report um, been moving in this pretty ugly downtrend but as you can see popping up through that here recently and trying to deal with some price resistance in the chart so if this can push up through on an earnings report then it might have some upside opportunity if it does happen to fail in here watch for um, this little support area to make Maybe hold that um, in um, in the chart. Um, uncertain, uncertain here on BlackBerry. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find them to be useful and helpful, if you can please continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments, I do truly appreciate it. It. and it's so important to me I try every single day to read all of those comments and answer all those comments to the best of my ability and thank you so much for everyone who does take the time you guys are awesome and I truly truly appreciate it um, we're moving uh, moving up in the um, in the um, subscriptions and that's just exactly um, um, what we want to see happen so thank you everyone for that effort and then um, thank you also for those folks that continue to utilize that link just below the title of the video for the buy me a coffee thank you so much guys I really do appreciate it let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful because of the volatility of this market really anything is possible on every single day and even though we've had quite a few bullish charts setting up Unfortunately, it, it's difficult for them to really get a whole lot going here um, in the market because that volume has been so low. But let's take a look at a few of those. As you guys know, I've mentioned PayPal here a few times and I had a price alert there on PayPal and it popped up through that price alert. I ended up not taking this trade because I'm just not liking the overextension in this market at the moment. And um, this chart still has that little bit of chance that it could finish up this move out here toward the trend. And you can see yesterday pulled back a little bit. There's nothing wrong with this chart as long as we continue to hold this support. If we can get that inspiration in the market, I would continue to watch PayPal. And there's been some, you know, those um, institutional folks out there talking about how big an opportunity this might be in the near future. So keep a close eye on PayPal there may be something coming along in there soon um, I would also put SQ um, into that same category we had that pop through here just the other day and then yesterday pulling back here just a little bit and once again you can see that that's moving just ahead of the trend here just a little and so maybe it needs a little bit more rest in there for that opportunity to push on through but keep an eye on SQ there's um, I think there may be some upside potential potential in this here eventually, but watch that closely. I'm also going to put some of those um, energy, um, alternative energy stocks in that list. If we were to take a look at um, the ETF here, TAN in solar, keep an eye on that. That's been consolidating in this really tight pattern here in the chart. And I think there is that opportunity that could be coming along that these may get going, particularly with those oil prices continuing to stay so strong. So watch that closely. 
pretty good charts um, in that sector. You could take a look at First Solar, Run, Nova, um, all of those holding in that same type of pattern. I'm also going to put in my plug power. Um, I am holding plug power and it has moved up nicely for me. I'm holding this as a stock trade um, because the implied volatility the options were just ridiculously high. But watching this chart moving up in this trend, I do think this probably needs a little bit more rest out here. And at the same time, I, I've turned this into a covered call trade, selling the 35 strike calls on this just to hedge the position. But so far, holding up in there, had a little pullback yesterday. But I think if that continues to rest back in here, we might still see that next opportunity to the upside here on Plug Power. Take a look at like CCJ. CCJ, pretty nice chart here. Metals and mining has been pretty surprising um, um, in the strength. And well, I shouldn't say su surprising commodity prices on everything have been moving up pretty strongly. And we can see here in CCJ um, breaking through that resistance. We had a little bit of selling, pushed down into this trend, bounced right off of that area. Yesterday we shot up and pulled back um, by the close. But notice in here, if we can hold this little area in here out toward the trend, look for that next opportunity maybe uh, for that to move to the upside. And I gotta say, you can look at a lot of um, actual mining stocks in gold and silver, um, like Newmont Mining, looking very, very good, trying to push through some resistance levels in the chart, maintaining these upside trends here, looking very good. So keep an eye on some of those. There are quite a few opportunities in those charts to be paying attention to as well. Um, I would also want to um, bring up some potential short trades that we want to be watching here. Take a look at the financial here struggling we pushed up here in the financials pretty strongly this last month um, but we're running into some problems and as rates are expected to go up we're seeing mortgage applications drop dramatically as a matter of fact the refinance numbers came out um, just yesterday showing that since 2018 refinance um, um, has declined by 60 percent and so we're seeing really dramatic declines in there and that may cause some struggle here for the banks and the other thing that is really starting to show some struggle here for the banks is that possible inversion um, in those bonds because why would you want to loan a 30-year loan if you can do better on a shorter term bond than you would um, doing those 30-year loans and what that can kind of spell sometimes is is point toward a little bit of a liquidity crisis in the market. We'll want to watch that closely. Um, so far, home prices continue to accelerate to the upside, but banks are finding it difficult, I think, maybe to find that um, loan activity uh, to picking up in here as those rates continue to rise. So watch that pretty closely here. Now, if you take a look at stocks like um, WFC, WFC, as you can see, breaking some support here in the chart, kind of heading back down. And if we take a look at the technicals of the chart, that's another failure at the 50-day moving average, and we're pushing back down here toward the 200. And we can see similar things when we look at stocks like uh, BAC, BAC struggling along its 50 and 200-day moving averages. Notice that 50 is pushing down toward the 200-day. So if you're looking for some short trades, you might want to look over into that financial sector could be running into a bit of a problem here. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. We'll see you all right back here bright and early Friday morning, and I wish you all the best.